Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of months ago, I let you know that Bing AI could soon help you rewrite text in Microsoft Edge. And that's because in Edge Canary, if we have a look at a screenshot once again provided by Leo over on X, in Edge Canary, the preview version of the browser, I'm using Bing Chat as we can see. The rewrite feature allows you to rewrite text selected text based on different tones, formats, and lengths. Now, I'll leave that video down below if you'd like um, a little bit more info. But if we just head over to Google Chrome now, it seems now that Google is working on a very similar feature for Chrome, um, very similar to the rewrite feature we just had a look at uh, in Edge. And on Garrett, it's called Compose. So if we just head over to... Um, one of those patches over on Garrett. Yeah, we can see Compose Length, Compose Tone. So very similar to the same feature that's available and been tested in Microsoft Edge Canary. Now, just like in Edge, uh, there will also be a bubble with options to change the tone and length of the text. And with Google, though, they seem to be taking it one step further because if we have a look at this, um, over on Chromium Garrett, they say, we are planning to expand from desktop to iOS, Android, and other languages after shipping our MVP early next year. Now, if you don't know what MVP stands for, basically it means minimum viable product, and it's where a product is built with the minimum features necessary, uh, basically so early adopters or users can gather valuable feedback for further development. And then they carry on to say, this project is strongly tied to autofill, very similar to what we saw uh, with the rewrite feature in Microsoft Edge, which uses a mixed components and Chrome architecture. So we are mirroring that. So obviously, because both browsers, Chrome and Edge, are obviously based on the open source Chromium platform, and um, this is something now that Google is going to be doing, um, very similar to the rewrite feature where they will be mirroring a similar option in Chrome. Now it's still early days and it's not known if and when this feature will roll out because obviously this is just being talked about over on Chromium Garrett but nonetheless interesting and just wanted to put it out there and as mentioned if we have a look at one more time at that GIF yeah we can see if you highlight that text now this is back in Microsoft Edge rewrite using Bing Chat AR and you can change the tone the length and so on and um, for any highlighted select and selected text you have in the browser. And as mentioned now, same thing could be rolling out to Google Chrome, but I'll keep a close eye on this one because obviously it's still early days and just wanted to put it out there in case you are interested in new features in the browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.